from the appearance of Imam al-Mahdi until the end of the world. Imam al-Mahdi is the most important figure. After the minor signs, Imam al-Mahdi is a figure that is playing the key role. From his appearance until the end of mankind. Everything was explained by Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He gave us the key to a portal that, le that leads us to a vast knowledge of future. And through that key, and through that portal, we can reach every nitty gritty detail from this day until the day the world ends. And I'm not talking about any fantasy. I'm talking about authentic knowledge of eschatology that has been proven to have come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what are our hints? What's that key? What's that secret portal that leads us to a huge knowledge? Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's not it should not come to you as a surprise but it should come to you as a realization that we had the key to that huge portal of huge of true knowledge but we didn't realize that it was such a wonderful such an authentic way of seeking knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a wonderful way of traveling to the future maybe what it is Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that nothing out of Nabuwa and its signs is left apart from a true dream that a person sees about himself or someone sees about him and Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith that a true dream is one of the 46th part, 46 parts of Nabuwa. It is not Nabuwa, it is not Wahi, but it is a source of authentic knowledge. Then a true dream is ranked as the 46th rank in terms of true knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How come Imam al-Mahdi, the one who will, who will lead the world, the one who will cure the Ummah, the one who will filter all of the problems, how will he be guided? Have you ever imagined that Imam al-Mahdi is the one, Khalifatullahu fil ars, that he will be Allah's appointed one on this earth Imam al-Mahdi will be the leader there, there will be no differences between the Ummah there will be no sects there will be no countries and he will be the one under whose era Allah's blessings would shower in such a way and according to Hadith, the sky and the clouds would contain nothing, would keep nothing, and all of the rain would fall on earth. And according to according to the hadith of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that would be the time when earth will keep nothing and all of the crops will pop out and everyone will be so happy and contented and prosperous there will be no sick people there will be no fakr and according to some narrations you will be surprised because that will be the time when there will be no shirk, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with the ummah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that will be the time 
when the beast and the dangerous animals that we consider as dangerous these days would play with the kids and the babies of humans and and the snake won't harm the baby and the beasts won't harm the humans imagine what kind of leadership that person would be given Imam al-Mahdi is not only the most important figure of end of the times but Imam al-Mahdi is the one who will establish what Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought how come he will be guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how come he will be able to remove all of the differences in Ummah how come he will be able to defeat all of the enemies how come he has to be guided when there is no wahi there is no messenger there is no angels coming to the people and bringing Allah's message anymore in the form of wahi how come that will happen I invite all of the scholars I invite all of the free thinkers to think over it and open this chapter that has been untouched for ages, for centuries now. This has to be touched. This has to be explored. And let me present you the answer. And the answer to this is in the ahadith of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam just like I explained before. That towards the end of the time, the Muslims will be guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through true dreams. And the true dreams are the 46th part of Nabuwa. So Imam al-Mahdi is not going to be the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's not going to be a prophet. He is going to be a leader. Who will implement Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's true deen in its, in its full, in its best and highest form. So he will be guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through true dreams.